proteins are one of the four major macromolecules, and they can be found in many places, like eggs, or meat, or nuts. Some examples of proteins include actin and myosin, which are proteins used in muscle contraction, pepsin, which is a protein and an enzyme that breaks other proteins down into peptides, oxytocin is a protein that causes uterine contractions that lead to childbirth, and also cause lactation for breastfeeding the newborn. Notice that so far, all the words end with in. That's a hint that it's a protein. But a lot of proteins are also enzymes, and many enzymes end in ACE, like catalase, which rapidly turns hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen, or lactase, which breaks down lactose in milk. If you are lactose intolerant, you don't make enough of the enzyme lactase. Enzymes are proteins that speed up the rate of reaction. They work by lowering activation energy required for the reaction to begin. Here's what that looks like. A normal reaction has a certain amount of starting energy or activation energy that's required before the reaction can truly begin and create products. With no catalyst, like an enzyme, the reaction might be relatively slow. But with a catalyst, the activation energy is decreased and the reaction can occur faster. It's like being able to drive your car through a tunnel instead of up and over a mountain. It's much faster. Enzymes work only on one specific substrate. The enzyme and substrate fit together like a lock and key. In this example, the substrate is broken down into two products, but some enzymes will put things together. Proteins have many different functions. There are structural components, of which much of the body is made, including skin, hair, and muscles. Proteins are also chemical messengers, like hormones. They assist in defending our bodies against disease in the form of antibodies. And many proteins are enzymes, like catalase and lactase, speeding up reactions and working over and over and over again. Proteins are made of long chains of amino acids, and they're linked together by peptide bonds. These long chains of amino acids, also known as polypeptides, will coil up and form a functional protein. The protein will not work until it's folded up correctly. Proteins are different from one another because they are made of different combinations of amino acids. Amino acids have a basic structure of a carbon, a hydrogen, an amino group, a carboxyl group, and an R group, which is also called a functional group. There are 20 different R groups, which allow for many different combinations. When amino acids form polypeptides, they create peptide bonds. Each bond also creates a water molecule when they bond. People used to believe that proteins were the hereditary molecule because there were so many different types, but that's not actually the case. DNA codes for proteins, but DNA is in the nucleus, and proteins are made outside the nucleus by the ribosomes. The DNA is actually too large to leave the nucleus through the nuclear pores. There's actually a better way to get the message out, and we'll talk about that way in the next video. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.